it's Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer. I have Lola here. Uh, she's a blind baby who's come to me for pet grooming. And uh, we'll just see how she does. I've never groomed her before. Mom and Dad want, Mom wants um, a real short haircut on her body, which I agree, so I don't have to see her so often. And then clean up her face really good. She's got a lot of gunk on her eyes. And I already briefed him and said, hey, you guys should wash her face with a wet towel, a real, really juicy wet towel uh, every morning and wash the gunk out of her eyeballs. And so we're going to get started. I'm going to do a seven on her. And she is blind, so we'll just see how she does on uh, handling herself on the table. She had gone to another grooming uh, salon and it was loud, a lot of barking. The other dog right now that's barking is her, her little buddy, so they're t they came together. Um, so she's used to how he sounds and everything, so he's the one back there in the back. But we're going to do a seven all over and everything should be short and cleaned up real nice. They want to leave a top knot, so I'm going to leave that. I do recommend that we actually don't have a top knot. I would rather have done like a five teddy bear head. All this on a blind dog for me, I'd be like, get this off of my head. But uh, they want to leave a top knot, so I'm going to leave it this time. And we'll just get started. All right, thanks for watching. Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer. Here we go. Sometimes blind pets will kind of stand still and sometimes blind pets will move around a lot. So I do have my guard up as far and as far as and then sometimes blind pets will bite because they don't know what's going on and who's touching them and where. So just want to be aware of those things. So we're going to do a seven all over. So I'm going to start with that. I uh, think that the seven is going to be best. Um, so they don't have to do very much with the dog's hair, uh, hair brushing and stuff like that. That's just my opinion. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. Make sure to get your before picture in there. Poor face is really in bad shape. I guess I should start over here since the camera's over here, huh? It's been a long day. I've done a lot of dogs today. These are the last two. And I am beat. I can feel her pulling. At least she's not moving around, right? She's looking. That's good. On senior dogs, I like to advise a shorter cut and see them less, you know, see them less. If they come in matted every time, that's different. Um, if they're coming matted, I would say short and I'll see you every month and a half, two months. If they're not matted and they're seniors, disabled, um, blind, just the shorter haircut, just keep them comfortable short and that mom and dad don't have to brush and then they're not matted when they come in they're just just right for a grooming this is my opinion because uh senior dogs is too stressful you know so uh why why this they're old you know what i mean She's doing good. Never know. 
Be ready. If she don't like something, she's gonna bite me. <laughs> okay, girlfriend, you're doing good. Oh, oh, watch yourself here. Kind of matted right here on the tail. I'm gonna just blend, uh, bring that down a little bit and blend it, and then do a short tail. These folks are referred to me uh, from their veterinarian because I do one-on-one -on -one senior dogs, and they kind of heard about that, so they got a referral to me. I'm glad because I really like the fact it's quiet in here. If you're blind, you know, having too much going on might just make you real nervous. I'm gonna push her back a little bit in here. Let me see your paw here. Come on now. She's so short. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna come back and do her. Um, Hi, baby. I'm gonna come down and do her pads first before we keep going. And I like to stand on this side of the table to get used to this camera position there. Tuck the tail under there. She's small so I'm going to make like pick her up kind of here, support her body. Uh, I like doing it like that, like pick up the whole body here and then tuck that, bring that foot up to you. So you're not popping the knees on these little short guys. Uh, sometimes it's uh, short guys and girls on these short dogs. That way you can really uh, control that knee joint. So pick them up and do that, do that. Because you don't see me do this all the time. If it's a tiny dog like that though, with, she doesn't have any hips and joints issues that I can feel, but
kind of not liking that side mess with. Come here, baby. Let me see. Oh, did I scare you? It scared me. Hold on. Let me see. No, she don't like that for some reason. No, no. She's not liking this paw mess with. Let me see. Come on now. Let me see. Maybe something's going on in there, you know? So really look in here. It's matted in there. Let me see. Let me get it out. There you go. Got that baby out of there. Sometimes they're telling you something, you know what I mean? Gotta look deeper into it. Sometimes, not all. Boy, you guys are not gonna like the face when I have to do it. It's pretty matted in there. Not her, you guys out there, YouTube. <laughs> it's got matted in there. I'm gonna go this way with it and cut some of these mats out. So when I come back later with the brush, it just not down with the full blade, just take the edge and just make some cuts in there, so. Got some mats in there, I'm gonna get in there real good in a minute. Okay, so when you're working with this area, of course you want to be gentle, but push it out. You see this mat right there? Be real gentle and get in there and just cut that out of there. Don't dig and then watch what you, uh, where your blade's at so you don't like cut the holes that are already there. Don't cut into the holes. I'm doing my tin at this point. I don't know if you could tell. I'm going to all my tin spots if there's a... We did a seven, so it's real close. If there's stuff, you know, in the way, just take it down. I'm gonna do the armpits. Okay. Let Drop come in and do her tummy. I'm going to do down her chest and the tummy. And then down to the back legs, of course. That way that's nice and clean for the summertime heat I always talk about down here. Okay. I'm going to start a new video doing her face because this is going to be an interesting scenario.